One of the big buzzwords right now in car audio is all pass filters. Okay. And, and I've read enough of what you've written about all pass filters to know that I know this much about all pass filters and you, you know, everything, you know, a lot more than I, I won't say everything because you never know everything. No, I don't know. I know a little bit about audio compared to other people that I know. Yes, but you know, a I was bit more fortunate than... to work in an engineering department where I didn't know anything compared to the people that that also work there. On a DSP or on an amplifier where it says HP, AP, and LP, um, I, I think all pass has become one of those words where some people understand there's the all pass filter and then there's the acronym for all pass, meaning all frequencies are passing. And the all pass we're talking about goes you have high pass. Yeah, on pass. our amplifiers, that AP that you're talking yes. about, we call that off. Yes. We call that off. That's Correct. no filter. That means everything goes through. So an actual all pass filter yes. is a filter where everything passes, right? It's not a high pass filter or a low pass filter because it doesn't affect the frequency response of the signal that goes through. It only affects the phase response. And it affects the phase response in exactly the same way as a high pass or a low pass filter would. So a second order all pass changes the phase of the signal 180 degrees at whatever that frequency is that you choose. So if you choose, uh, if you choose a, a, a 300 hertz all pass filter, it means the phase is going to be zero above 300 hertz. At 300 hertz, it's going to be 180 degrees, and below. 300 hertz, it's going to go to 360 degrees. So 360 and zero are the same. The second order all pass is a way to change the phase gradually over a range of frequencies. And you you adjust the range of those frequencies. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a parametric filter with the Q. Right. Because the Q determines the rate, partly determines the rate of that change. So we we in audio, there are there are second order all pass filters and there are first order all pass filters. And first right. order all pass filters go from zero to one eighty, and they're ninety degrees um, at the filter frequency. Okay. So this this is a uh, this is useful for all kinds of things. Um, like it's kind of like well, so you can do with an all pass filter kind of what you can sort of do with delay, but delay is a very precise adjustment that we use. Um, to compensate for different arrival times, right? One speaker is farther away than the other one. So we delay the signal to the nearer speaker so that the sound leaves that speaker a little later so that it arrives at our ears at the same time. This is what time alignment is for. Right. Time alignment or, or signal delay or whatever you want to call it. The idea is that in a, in a basic stereo system, the, the, the objective is to use two speakers that are hopefully placed in front of you. This doesn't always happen because some people, <laughs> sometimes people put one speaker in the front of the room and the other one like by the dining room table in the other room. So they have those speakers. are always those. Yeah, this is not status. This is not how this was originally sort of intended to work. The idea behind two speakers is not that there's one speaker for your left ear and one speaker for your right ear. That's headphones. And if you've ever listened to headphones, you know that there's no image, right? It's you just, hear the just, singer in the middle of your head and yeah. there's some stuff on the right and some stuff on the left, but there's no stage. There's no, yeah. it's not external. It's not like you're, you're watching a performance that's happening 10 or 20 feet in front of you. So the, 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 the idea of, of stereo of two speakers is that you can create an image in between those two speakers of a band or whatever else um, by distributing the sound among the two channels in a way that, that will, that, that allows you to present a singer in the middle and a guitarist on the left and a bass player on the right and the drums behind and, and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have so much to do with the fact that we have two ears as it does that we need to be able to, we need to be able to fake ourselves into hearing stuff come from points in between the speakers. Okay. Right. So in order for that to happen, the two speakers need to have the same frequency response or really close. And the sound from each of those speakers needs to arrive at our ears at the same time or in phase. At the same time and in phase are not exactly the same thing. No. But if they arrive at the same time and they're the same speakers, then there's a good chance that 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 uh, that the sound will arrive in phase. Right? Yes. Okay. So what if we don't sit in the, what if we don't sit in between the two speakers? Right? At home, it's really easy. Well, comfy spot on the couch. It's if we're if you're single or if you have a significant <laughs> other who's not who 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 will allow you to put speakers in the right place and a chair in the right place, then you can experience stereo pretty easily, right? Yeah. 
and and imaging is we in car audio we tend to sometimes think about imaging as this weird esoteric thing and and it's trickery and it's magic and <laughs> and and you got to set everything just perfect and and the delays need to be set within within a, a millimeter and if you know more resolution because because we need to be able to adjust the arrival time by one millimeter to get it perfect this is all this is all nonsense um, but at home it's really easy you just Put your speaker you just put your chair in between the two speakers and you set them up kind of in an equilateral triangle and guess what you hear imaging yes and if you've never heard imaging because you don't have a home system you don't have to spend twenty two thousand dollars to hear imaging you can literally go you can go to goodwill i don't buy an expensive set of speakers you can go to goodwill you can go you can go to, you can go to amazon you can go to walmart and if you have a laptop or you have an iPod or a phone or whatever else that you can plug a, 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 a three and a half millimeter jack into. Just go get a pair of desktop speakers for a computer. And if you go to Goodwill, they'll have them for like 50 cents because nobody <laughs> wants these things anymore. Right? So you can hear imaging for 50 cents. You go to Goodwill, you go to Salvation Army, and you look for that pair of desktop speakers. They're going to be about this big. Yeah. You put one on this side of your computer, one on this side of your computer, and you sit in the middle. Right for fifty cents, you can hear imaging. Right, yeah. it's not esoteric. This is really this is how stereo was designed. So if you're at home and you can sit in between the two speakers, this works perfectly, and you, it'll work for fifty cents. Right, but in a car, we don't sit in the middle. And it's not for fifty cents. And it's not for fifty cents. No, it's definitely not for fifty cents. So the cent. fact that we don't sit in the middle, and we really can't unless we're going to sit on top of the. Um, Sit on top of the, the console, gear, gear or, or sit on top of the gear shifter. I've seen movies like that. Anyway, um, so if you so if you could sit in the middle, then you could do this cheaply in a car. But since we don't sit in the middle, and our passenger also doesn't sit in the middle, there's no, there's no, we have to make some adjustments. Yeah, for we have to make some adjustments for this. So um, delay is the way we do that. Right? If you sit much closer to the left speaker than you do the right speaker. The, then you can delay the sound to the left speaker so that it arrives at the same time as the right speaker, and you'll hear an image in the center. But in the center, at home, when you sit in between the two speakers, that center happens directly in front of you because you're in the middle. Correct. Right? But when you're in a car, the center, when you set your delays correctly, it appears in between this is just a little piece of vector math which we're not going to do here no <laughs> but but the actual center in is is halfway between the two speakers halfway between the two speakers so when you sit in the driver's seat and you get the delays right the image doesn't appear directly in front of you it appears in the center in halfway between the two speakers right, right? Uh -huh. but in a car when we use delays it only works for one seat because the passenger gets what uh, the passenger is going to get whatever's coming out of the right hand speaker, and they're going to yes. like it. They're probably not going to like it. Well, they don't know any difference. Usually, the, the uh, see, I, see, I don't believe that. I know, <laughs> and we're going to get to that. We're, I don't believe we're, that. We're, we're, we're going so, there. So when we use delay, we can fix the sound for one seat because we're compensating for distance. And if we sit in the opposite seat, the opposite speaker is farther away, mm -hmm. but we've delayed it, right? Right, right. We've delayed it. So this doesn't work in the opposite seat at all. So all pass filters are a way to change phase gradually over a wide band of frequencies. So we can use them for lots of stuff. In pro audio, um, uh, sometimes what you want is to optimize a crossover. Like let's say you know you got those those giant line arrays that hang in a mm -hmm. big J, yeah. you know, uh, above the uh, above the um, the stage above the stage, and all of those things also need crossovers, but. There might be, you know, if you're going to see Elton John at Dodger Stadium, there might be 50,000 people. Right? Yes. So you can't optimize for one person if you're going to sell 50,000 tickets. Right. You can't do that at a movie theater either. So sometimes what we need are filters that that change phase or that can help us compensate for listeners at different distances with a sort of a wide brush rather than a very narrow pinpoint sort of a thing like delay. Okay. Because there's no... Delay is delay compensates perfectly for one infinitely small point in space, uh -huh. but you can't stick fifty thousand people who spent five hundred dollars on a ticket in one infinitely small point in space, right? Correct. So sometimes we need filters that do that 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 change phase or can optimize phase gradually or get close over many more locations than we could with delay. So, so an all-pass filter is just simply a tool that we can use to adjust phase gradually. 
So Toyota loves to use them. Yes. And is there, and which is usually in the J, well, they use them in all the systems, basic all the way through the JBL system. Right. Um, so it's hard to do this without a whiteboard. But so I know. I'm sorry. So, no, it's okay. So because I think I can do it. Anyway. I know you can do it. <laughs> anyway. So, so if we set up the car, like I'm not sitting on a gear shift because I'm yeah, yeah, really yeah. into that. But if we were setting up a car and, and, uh, this is weird because these guys are. I know Fernando's actually on my right, but here he's on my yeah, left. Yeah, they, yeah, they see it the right way too. Right. Yeah. So, so, so Fernando's in the driver's seat. Dean's in the passenger seat. We set up the delays for Fernando, and he's over here going, "Yes, this is great. This sounds great." And Dean is going, "You paid how much for this?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you paid how much for this? So the reason that we don't hear a center image. The reason that we don't hear a center image without delays in a car is because the vocal frequencies based on the distance from Fernando to one speaker and the other speaker or the different the distance between Dean and the speaker and the other speaker is right. that those two speakers wind up being out of phase at a fundamental frequency and a whole bunch of other frequencies based on that difference in distance. Cars are always about the same size. Right, like an MG is not the same size as F as like a Maybach, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. but we're not talking about the difference between a mouse and a rhinoceros. Correct. Right, they're yeah. similarly sized. So so that first area where the sound is out of phase happens at about the same frequency that people where people sing, and singers tend to be mixed in the center. Mm -hmm. Right. So in most cars that happens at about 250 hertz, and in fact, there's a the original patent for using these all-pass filters in cars in a certain way called out 250 hertz um, uh, in the in the patent, and you can determine this by a simple distance measurement or whatever else. Um, but an all-pass. So the problem is that the speakers are out of phase because the the distance problem is symmetrical, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then then for Dean. The close speaker arrives earlier than the than the speaker that's farthest away, uh -huh. and those two things are perfectly reversed for Fernando in the other seat. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right. But the problem is that in both seats, they're out of phase at the same frequency. Okay. So delay delays everything, but an all pass filter allows us just to change the phase to reverse the phase at over a narrow band of frequencies. And the first narrow band of frequencies that that happens, where that happens in a car, is around 250 hertz. Okay. A little lower in a bigger car, a little higher in a in a in a smaller car for for cars with speakers in the doors. So we, if we can change the phase of one of those speakers at over that range of frequencies, then we can get closer to fixing it simultaneously for both seats. Okay. The because the problem is distance, it isn't perfect in right. one of the seats but it works better, right? So what you'll hear in a car that has an all-pass filter or a series of all-pass filters, Bose is notorious for using many all-pass filters, um, is that in, in the driver's seat, usually, you'll hear an actual center image, and it'll sound kind of similar to a car that uses delays. It's not as pinpoint perfect, you know, as if all the members of the band have been made very small and thrown, up on the dash. and thrown up on the dash, like they're a bunch of little army men in a diorama <laughs> on the dash. It won't sound like that. That's kind of what a delay car sounds like to me. But you will get a bigger center image, but there will be a center image. In the passenger seat, the center image will be a little more diffused, but you'll still be able to hear the music spread out across the dash. Right. Right. So two seat cars don't always sound like one seat cars. And, and, uh, um, but, but if you're a car maker, if you're a car maker, then you gotta you gotta spec the system so that it can be at least enjoyed in all the seats. Right, right. So so the car makers are are less interested in a in a what we might call a, a, a um, we might call a high end sort of high end two channel. You know, uh, the dentist who's got a one million dollar system in his basement. You know, they'd love, to be able to, they'd love to be well, yeah, because dentists, I mean, I, I used to have a friend who was a dentist who had this. So this always, okay. comes, this always comes to mind, right? But it's some dude who's who's managed to spend all that money and he's got his two tube amps, you know, set up in the two speakers and he sits in the middle and, and all that. So, so um, because in a car, you can only do that system for one listener, 
this is not really an appropriate system for most cars because people who buy cars also drive other people around. Right. And if you're a car maker, then you have to kind of be sensitive to the fact that there might be somebody in the in the passenger seat. There might somebody be somebody right. in the back seats. And now all the rage that you know what the automotive uh, suppliers are talking about is everybody in the car being able to enjoy their own activity, right? So mm -hmm. if you're in the driver's seat, you want to be that dentist, but but somebody in the passenger seat might want to watch TikTok videos. But if they're watching TikTok videos, anybody been to a restaurant recently where somebody's got their speakerphone on and they're watching TikTok videos as never, loud as it never thing happens? <laughs> never happens. I don't know where you're it from. Makes me insane. Anyway, no. So imagine you're trying to listen to you're 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 trying to listen to music. High, you know, you're trying to have a high end music listening experience in the driver's seat, and the person in the passenger seat wants to watch TikTok videos. And how are you gonna make that work, right? So this in, is what in my role—they get a set of headphones. Yes, <laughs> and wouldn't it be nice if people still used earbuds? Um, anyway, so what they believe now is that that they're gonna be like four people in the car, and everybody has to be engaged in some different audio experience. Most of the time, so we have a saying in the in the in the cardio aftermarket, which I never use because I don't agree with this, and that's f the passenger, right? And I to me this is to me this is like this is like the this is like the Aesop's fable about the sour grapes, right? It's like if you can't manage to make the passenger seat sound good, then what do you say? F the passenger, <laughs> f the passenger. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, look, we can at least take care of the passenger. We can we can we can have if everybody in the car wants to listen to the new Rolling Stones album, then everybody in the car can get a great experience listening to the new Rolling Stones album. For the most part, cars in the U.S. are, are enjoyed by one person at a time because we all drive our own car, mm -hmm. right? Yep. If you got kids, sometimes you go to the same place, they want to drive their own car. Right? Yeah. Because they don't yep. want to listen to Rolling Stones. They want to listen to God knows what. Yeah. Anyway, so we can do this job. I don't know that I see a whole lot of application for four people in the car at the same time all doing something audio no. wise at the same time but so this is sort of one of those technical hurdles and it's a thing it's a thing that the car company is going to ask for and somebody's going to do it and it's going to be a really difficult thing for us to undo um but that's where it's going so i don't know that 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 all four seats need to be able to do something different but an all pass filter or phase eq which is really what it is can at least help us um to make the passenger seat sound better so that after you sell somebody or after you know after if you're a car or you're a retailer and you sell a customer his you know this twenty thousand dollar system that sounds great in the driver's seat and he's been itching to pick it up and and uh he comes to get it from you at you know 4 15 on a friday when it's finally finished even though it was supposed to be finished three fridays before <laughs> and and he's like waiting for you to bring the keys up and you hear him on his phone and he's calling his buddy he's like yeah i'm picking it up now i'm, I'm picking it up i'm picking it up now I'm, I'm, I'm coming over man i'm coming over you got to hear this thing so he gets in his car you you know you deliver the car you set the clock for him and whatever and he takes off and you can hear him five blocks away because he's got the system on as loud as it'll go he gets to his friend's house his friend runs out Jumps in the passenger seat. The guy cranks up the system, and his passenger, his, his buddy looks over and goes, you paid how much for this? <laughs> and then the dude's like, wait, what do you mean? He's like, no, man, this sounds it's horrible. horrible. This yeah. is terrible. Um, and the customer says, what do you mean? He says, come over here and listen to it over here. Yeah. So sometimes the guy who buys the system doesn't even realize that it's going to suck in the passenger seat sometimes he knows right yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. so so i just think that if it's possible for us to make the passenger seat and even the back seat sound great too if it doesn't compromise what the person in the driver's seat is going to hear then we got to do it and yeah. all pass filters are one of the tools that help us do that 